Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Libra. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. So um, Libra, I've done your reading with my three decks combined in one giant stack. You're going to see a blend of all three in your spread today. So I'm loving your reading because it's really like bursting with energy because it seems like you've had some sort of a massive breakthrough or epiphany pretty much because we're beginning, beginning here with this five of earth card which I often say is like um, a lack of clarity you know foggy mindedness perhaps not being able to see clearly or distinguish it's a real turning inward as well with this card today I mean her head is down her eyes are closed she's turned away so Libra there's this real message especially with the rest of the cards following it that you have been kind of in this stage of, it feels like incubation almost, kind of like, you know, really cliche, the cocoon and the butterfly, because the butterfly comes out farther down the line here. So it's like you were in this incubation processing, it feels like an inner searching. It's almost like, I'm feeling Libra, like you, something, there's something that's needing solution and it's like you are determined to find the solution and you know, it's like you know that you you got it somewhere. It's almost like going through memory files or scanning your memory or it's something like that. It's like you're searching, searching. No, it's almost like a, at least recently or at least right as the breakthrough is coming, it feels like that tip of the tongue type of feeling where you're like, I know that I know this. I know that I know this. And it's like, you can't let it go. Dog with a bone type feeling. You are latched on to, I'm not letting go until I find a solution. And then when you do, when you do, it's like a massive epiphany, lightning, light, light bulb, lightning strike moment where it's just coming through as breakthrough, right? It's like you're in this, you're in this energy and then you're bursting through with quite a momentum. It's like you, it's like you went really, really deep, almost like a deep dive and then, and then bursting back up through the surface of the water with the answer fully within your hand, right? You have it in your clenches and with the queen of air, it's coming through obviously as clarity. The queen of air, I'm always saying, is like crystal clarity. And it's like you're, you're, you have this message of, I knew that I could find it. I knew that I knew this. I knew that I had access to the answer. It's a big breakthrough. And it feels really joyous and celebratory with this dolphin and the happiness card. It's almost like you're doing a happy dance and having found this thing, whatever it is, the answer to this to is it some sort of a problem that you were faced with that you were like I know that I can solve this this is like it's like you're saying I got this I keep for some reason I'm thinking of I have this like supernatural ability to find lost objects that's what I'm seeing here with this it's like I found it I knew that I could find it it's like this is my superpower I knew I could do it because I do this this is my thing that I do and so whatever it is that you're being faced with whatever this dilemma or the problem or the challenge is, it's like it's completely appropriate. It's in alignment with your superpower. And so that's why you're like, I got this, everybody. I got this. I know I can find the solution to this. And you're do, you do. And so it's got that bit of, of a celebration element to it as well because it's like, see, I knew I could do it. Not only are you happy that you found it, because it feels like a really great thing, whatever it is. It's just, it's an ideal solution. It's like, it's one of those win-win type situations, perhaps. It feels to me like there are other people involved and you're finding the solution that everybody is, because the reason why I'm saying other people are involved is because the dolphin talks about pods, families, tribes, right? So it's like, on behalf of the tribe, on behalf of the family, you have found the ideal solution for whatever the challenge is that's in front of you. And you're doing the happy dance about it. So 
change card coming out next. It's talking to me, Libra, about whatever this is that you found. It is a big change. There's a big change on the horizon for you and all who's involved in this scenario. It's interesting because I'm looking at this card. I'm seeing this as you here. It's like this woman standing on an egg or an orb or a planet, whatever it is that she's on. There's like all this dynamic energy. It's like this creational. It's almost like she's harnessing electricity. Basically, the message that I'm getting is to what I'm seeing when I'm looking at this woman on the card today is that she is loving this dynamic influx of answer or it's like this this light bulb moment the lightning strike moment to you is completely euphoric I feel like she is in bliss in this state but I feel like everybody else who's looking at this is thinking it's too much it's it's too much it's, it's like hectic and crazy, but I feel like her in the center, it's almost like she or you, Libra, is like the eye of the storm. Because it's like you see it so clearly. It's crystal clear to you. It's almost like the universe has opened up and has shown you the answer. And it makes so much sense. Like you're locked right into it. And everything is almost, to you, it's like everything is almost like in slow motion. You've reached that flow state where everything is just gorgeously aligned and making sense and but to everybody else it's like sped up and they're they're thinking it's too outlandish or it's gonna require it's basically like whatever it is that you that your answer is that your solution is it's gonna require everybody involved to step through a like a transformational phase it's like end of one thing, beginning of a whole other thing. It's a big change. It's a big change, but you're delighting in it. For you, it's, it's blissful. For everybody else, it may be a little bit intimidating is the feeling that I'm getting. Intimidating, but you're coming out, like I said, with this butterfly at the end of the row here, which says soul above it. And I'm loving this. Not only is it, of course, connected to this, which I see as like the chrysalis, the cocoon stage, and then you're bursting out with absolute clarity. But what I'm loving here is I'm getting this. She's got this butterfly and combined with this fist here, it's almost like you gr you grasped it. That's the thing. It's like it's got this feeling of it's just out of your reach like a butterfly. It's like you're trying to grab onto something fleeting. It's like you've seen it before. It's like this scenario, it's almost like deja vu. It's that kind of a feeling, Libra, where it's like whatever's going on in your life that you're needing a solution to, it's almost like when it presents itself or when you find yourself in the challenge, you're like, ah, I know this. That's what this butterfly is talking about. It's like, I've, I've seen this before or I know this. I, I know that I have the answer to this somewhere in my in my files. I know this. I know this, and it's like you grasped the butterfly. It's like you grasped it. That's what this is really beautiful, right? But it's also tied to the soul, which has a lot of depth to it, right? Talking about, it, you know, this being an essential element to something really tremendous that you're building, it's kind of coming through as. Libra is putting together, it's almost like, is it a, like a, a challenge has presented itself to you and in the answer, you've almost, it's like the answer is bigger than, it's not just the answer to the problem. It's like there more came in with it is what I'm getting with this soul card. It's like you grasped the answer, but you also kind of pulled in a lot of stuff about almost like a passion project, something that's in alignment with your purpose or mission, something like that. If you see what I'm saying, I feel like because it's bleeding through into the dragonfly energy for me, which I, ha I don't talk, I haven't talked about for a while. I mentioned it in a reading last week, but 
The Dragonfly for me, for a whole big story of a reason, talks about collaboration and kind of passion project, but very mission-based passion project is what's coming through. It's like something has really clicked into your view, Libra, and it could be why you're doing this happy dance, happy dance of the dolphins here, because it's, well, it's a, it's a passion project for you that's finally come into clarity and it involves all these others. And it, it also, you found the key to the solution to the problem that you're all facing together at the moment. It's something like that. So six of earth talks about, um, it's been talking to me actually about soul tribe. It came up. What was it in the cancer reading? I usually see Six of Earth as counterpart energy, but it's expanded this week to talk about a collective counterpart energy, like not just a soulmate or a twin flame, but like one significant other, but it has expanded to be talking to me about an entire collective, an entire soul family. That's what this is talking about, coming right after this butterfly card. So that's what I'm saying. It's like this huge epiphany moment for you about you and your soul family or your family or you know the people that are surrounding you are they surrounding you or it's like you're suddenly you've suddenly got a glimpse of them maybe they're not completely around you yet physically with the dolphin energy here it's like that could be part of what's coming in for you with this catching this fleeting memory or this solution has also pulled in with it some something about a collective or a group project a group passion project because these two cards coming out next hunger and the ace of air i'm seeing this as just like a call and answer like you being this wolf here sending out your call, broadcasting your new epiphany and waiting to see what who's going to grab onto it, what the response is going to be. It's like a, almost like a call for submissions or you know, you're you're going to be hiring people and so you're calling for applications, that kind of a thing. It's like this call and answer energy where you're putting out strongly, this is my vision. You feel absolutely certain about it you have like i said you, this is your energy about this project or epiphany that's come in and so you are sending out this massive bat signal out to the universe calling in the counterparts that you know will arrive in response to your call is the feeling that i'm getting i mean it could be just the people around you and you're saying hey this is this is my amazing new thing are you on board? The ones that are on board, the ones that are on board are the are your kindred spirits. It really feels like a group dynamic for me. So, four of water, which is the four of cups, if you're familiar with that card in the in the traditional tarot, it's like this this figure at the base of a tree looking at what is which in this case, I guess, is the problem that you're facing. And this Ace of Cups, this hand of God kind of coming out of the sky, offering a new direction or a new opportunity, right? Often the figure in the card is interpreted as not seeing it. It's kind of out in the blind spot. It's not being perceived. They're too fixated on the problem. But what I'm loving today Libra is that this is you you're the four cups energy bringing this in for people it's like you're this this one coming up out of the depths like I said diving deep and finding this pearl finding the answer and it could be it's almost feeling like it could be like a one in a million thing like finding a needle in a haystack like I said it's it's almost requiring a, some sort of a superpower or some sort of a unique ability on your part to pull this forward Right? As I was talking about how I have this ability to find lost object, it's like that. It's like 
nobody else could have done it maybe it's like it's your specific gift or your specific thing and so you were the one who found the needle in the haystack and you're bringing it to the others but it feels like there's going to be a little bit of convincing to do what i'm loving here with this with this owl energy it says wisdom it says wisdom um is that you know this this queen of air has this owl Right. This is your, this is your um, project, your your epiphany. This is your epiphany, and so whoever whoever hears your call, whoever turns in your direction as you're holding it, it out, it's like you're just, it's like you're not holding back. Your energy is just, like this is this is someone showing up in response to your call, and you're just giving it to them, blasting them with, you're excited, Libra. That's what I'm getting. It's like, you're absolutely excited and you have like, it's a big, your energy can, for the ones coming in, maybe a little bit overwhelming to them. You see how she's dwarfed in the foreground and your energy is just filling the entire space there, which is absolutely beautiful because it's talking to me about how passionate you are about this. But I feel like I'm getting that the others are, it's this energy, right? It's like to you, it feels amazing. To everybody else, there might be a little bit of, it's intense. You're intense, Libra. You're really intense, but it's because you're so passionate about it, right? It's beautiful, but the others are a little bit hesitant is what I'm getting. So the elephant coming out next, which says leadership. It's absolutely coming through as like a Ganesha type energy today. It came up in a couple of readings last week and everybody was pointing out that it's the Ganesha. It's Ganesha. And yes, I'm aware of that. But last week it was talking about something else. Today it is talking about a Ganesha energy, a leadership energy, a leading the way. The Ganesha energy is like the most efficient path through from point A to B. It's like clearing all the obstacles to get exactly where you need to be. And it's like you are beelining it for, it's like you have the whole thing planned out. It's like it came in like in a light bulb and it was like this aha, I see it. It's so obvious. I get the, it's like you got the whole thing all at once. And so you're leading the way. You're going, let me, let me show you the way. You are just completely electrified. Like look at both of these cards. You're the leader of this project. It is your project in a, in a sense, I guess, right? You're the initiator of this movement or this project. And you're just lit up, Libra. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm loving this, actually, what's coming through here with these two cards. Where I was talking about the ones responding to your call. And then this is your owl energy in the background. There's something here about you, it's like you are, yes, you're the leader of this project only because the idea came to you, but it's like you're making a very clear message to everybody involved that this is, that they're all, you're all on level playing field, that they're all leaders because you're this one in the background, like pushing everybody else into the foreground as leaders, right? It's like you want everybody involved to take a leadership position is kind of the message that I'm getting there. So, and then we're ending with the armadillo here, which says groundedness. So there's a couple of messages coming through the armadillo because it's following the elephant or the Ganesha clearer of obstacles energy and then like meeting this armadillo energy. So it's like there is... There is some sort of a resistance or it's talking about the circumstances that are required to change. When, the, when I was saying that there's going to be a lot of change involved in this, it's like everybody's lives that are involved in this is going to be like a before and after moment. This is a, a huge transitional point. It's a big change point for you all. So it could, the armadillo could just be talking about all of the stuff that needs to get is like there's a there's a big energy it's not a block it's not really coming through as a blockage it's kind of just coming through as the circumstances as they are now are really solidified 
but it's like it's no match to you in your super electrified Ganesha clearer of obstacles energy it's like it's like it's almost not even on your radar whatever this is whatever the problem was or whatever circumstances you're standing within that need to be changed it's almost like you don't even see them anymore you don't see them you're just you're plowing ahead there's it, there's no it's not even like a hiccup anymore it's like you know what needs to happen and you're doing it and it's like you're bringing all these other people with you whoever's willing to go right so, but the other energy that I was, that I was picking up here that I want to mention quickly is that this little, this little bit maybe of resistance about the others involved, but I think it's just because you are so amped up, Libra is what it feels like that the others are in comparison to your energy, they're much more grounded and they may be a little bit, there's just, there's some, some convincing that needs to happen which you're absolutely going to have no trouble with. But so I'm going to continue to pull cards, see where else, what else is going to be, come out about this. If you're interested in extended link is in the description. And if not Libra, I'm absolutely loving this. Whoever this resonates with, tell us about it because it sounds really, really exciting. So uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.